All right, everybody, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you the new version of the water and swim system, which is 1.04. Let's deep dive into it. If you enjoyed any of the videos on this channel, and if you're a fan, could you do me a quick favor and hit that subscribe button? Surprisingly, 85% of the people who watched my videos are unsubscribed. Your quick action of hitting that subscribe button will support this channel and as it grows, we will be able to share even more free content with you. So the first thing that we've added is a water oxygen tank. So right now, if I go underwater over here, we have this ox oxygen bar, which is kind of low and it's replenished pretty quickly and it simulates the breath of our character. But when you get the oxygen tank and go into the water, you can see that we have oxygen tank and we can swim for a lot more time. Let me get out of this water to show you the other features that we've created. Press T on your keyboard to unequip it. The next thing that we've worked on is the realism of the shader. As now, as you can see, the water is way, way more realistic. Also the waves that you generate from the character the next thing that we've refactored is the refraction from the water surface. As you can observe here from the from our character, you can see how the water is refracting with our character. And this looks pretty good compared to the previous version. We've also tweaked the shoreline over here, making it a little bit more customizable. This is the river body. In the river body, we've created for the shader depth cover. So let me just jump pretty quickly into the shader to show you how it looks and how we achieve this realism and what you can tweak in it. So in this shader, we have absorption multiplier. So when you go deeper in the water, you get darker colors. So if I put three, we have this nice effect on the color on the water. And of course you can tweak the, the color if you want, maybe some reddish over here. You want some blood at the bottom of your river, All right? So you can tweak here the parameters, the absorption multiplier. We have absorption cover, which you can tweak also. Scatter power, how you want to scatter the absorption. And the next cool thing that we've refactored is the refraction. So if I put this cube under over here, Right now you see slight refraction on the cube, only on the edges, which is realistic. But if I go and start tweaking it to two, you can see that we have pretty high refraction. Let's try with 1.4, 1 1.3, 1 1 1.2, 1.1. So you can play with it and find the best settings that you want. Maybe we want the absorption to be a little bit less, 1.1. And by tweaking all those parameters, you can get to the realism that you really want to get that triple A feeling. Let me play it out with this refraction to pretty quickly show you. See how the refraction is super high right now. Let's deep dive. The next thing that I want to show you is how you can scale this plane to your world. We have this vector over here, handle with which if you want to scale, you just need to drag it like that. And we have this rebuild water surface button. Just click the button and you just rebuild this surface. Now I can just select it, start moving it and place it onto my level. The next cool thing that we started working on, we have a custom tessellation model, which is the preparation for the next upcoming ocean shader. For the ocean shader, we also implemented some sun refractions over here onto the surface, which is also tweakable. So we've integrated light shafts under the water, if you can see. And right now you can create ocean, it's okay, but you still don't have the ocean waves, which we are working right now. And if I go and deep dive, you can see the light shafts over here. And when you add environment to it, it will get pretty lively. Caustics are working, everything is working. So we've put a lot of work onto this water and swim system to be so realistic. Yes, of course, we're gonna work a lot more to clean up everything that we think can be improved. And the next version will have the ocean shader. And then we're gonna start implementing like a custom boat that you can tweak. 
So right now this interactive water and swim system is available on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. You can buy it from here or you can just go to my Patreon page, become a premier supporter and have everything that I've created so far, the water system, the forge system, the landscape auto material, every, every PCG that I've created and a lot more stuff over here under this tier. You choose what you want. If you want just the interactive water system, it is available on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. But if you want to support my continuous work on a lot of different systems, including this one, go to my Patreon and become a monthly supporter. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video. And before I end up this video, I want to let you know that I've created a Blueprints Masterclass for Unreal Engine 5. It is available right now on Udemy. So if you want to expand your knowledge and not just only create art pieces in Unreal Engine 5, but create some characters, create some game logic, my course is the perfect solution from beginners to intermediate Unreal Engine 5 users. The course itself is 15 hours long and it has all the foundation that you need to kickstart your blueprint knowledge in Unreal Engine 5. So if you want to keep evolving yourself beyond just creating art in Unreal Engine 5, enroll now.